hardware stores are now hawking high-tech, thanks to a partnership between Home Depot and MakerBot. Alongside the power tools and paint cans at Home Depot, you can now find 3D printers. When you think about Home Depot and the standard average customer here, um, you think about people who simply come here because they like to create things, they like to build things. A handful of Home Depot stores across the U.S. will sell the printers. Three models ranging from $1,400 to $2,900 and plastic filament in an array of colors. That's the thread that's heated and squeezed out onto what's called a build plate to create the 3D object. We are waiting for the extruder to get hot enough so the filament can melt out the nozzle. So it's pretty much the same visual as a hot glue gun. 3D printers aren't just for high-tech hackers and rapid prototyping. They're handy for all types of home improvement projects. Imagine printing nuts and bolts at home or a functioning wrench. Users can download free 3D files from sites like Thingiverse or create their own designs. I built concrete furniture. For this, I could make forms in half the time and a lot more precise than what I could do with my hands. Fix-it projects may no longer require a trip to the hardware store. So say if you have a barbecue and your nozzle breaks off, you can actually 3D print yourself a nozzle. Finding the right tool for the job could be as simple as hitting Control-P. In Emeryville, California, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.